Hey everyone, my name's Gunther and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. We are here at the Ottawa Zoo, which, you know, in hindsight, the name, not the greatest. I will uh, I will uh, concede that point, uh, but we are back. In our last episode, we really focused on getting our first staff building up and uh, and running. And you know what? Is it the best building there is? No, not by, not by a landslide. But am I happy with it? Yeah, 100%. I think, you know, as always, this is a, in an effort to kind of grow and become better. So uh, that's that was the intent behind it. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, that being said, you know, as always, there's going to be there's going to be opportunities for us to learn things like that. Uh, and what we're going to do today, uh, speaking of learning, is uh, we're going to continue to develop our actual zoo. So in our last post, we really, you know, we built some stat buildings. In today's episode, I think, you know, I've done some thoughts about this. I think we're going to build an American bison uh, enclosure. Uh, and bison are near threatened. You know, we would definitely want to focus on getting their population back up and running, especially here in North America. There's not a whole lot from an, uh, from that type of particular animal. The other thing is that we can actually stick our black-tailed prairie dogs with the bison. So we can actually move them out of this enclosure right here move them in with the bison and then we can find something that maybe we want to put in here as well i'm thinking you know maybe we'll have arctic foxes over here we can get some red-tailed foxes over here which would be fantastic uh speaking of arctic foxes it looks like we're being protest uh <laughs> they're protesting it uh, why are they protesting because they're stressed and they are stressed i bet you anything because uh those protesters you're creating a vicious cycle you know, this is on you. This is all on you. <laughs> We're going to have to learn and live, though, with that. You know, it is what it is. We also have our uh, wolf uh, wolf rock enclosure or wolf mountain enclosure. I'm, I'm actually, you know, again, quite happy with where it is. Is it the best? No. But we are learning. So in today's episode, I'm thinking maybe we'll probably build our bison enclosure. We're going to kind of wrap it around like so so we're going to take advantage i did have a path you know I, I did place down some trees and stuff but i did have a path i got rid of it i'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to place the bison enclosure like so and we're going to kind of wrap it around and then we can kind of have one path that kind of meets around and then goes around as well so i think that's really what we want to focus on we're also going to eventually need to come up with a better location for this uh, transformer we uh, forgot to power the building and this is the uh this is the outcome uh weirdly enough as well we have that little thing sticking on the end i would love to maybe use some trees to cover that i don't know maybe we need to get some things on the top just to break up that uh flat surface i don't know but it's uh it's all gonna be uh it's all part of the process uh so uh, we are going to continue to use the uh the uh joy that is um fast forward and we're gonna cut through this but like i said we're gonna oh, we're gonna cut down around here we're gonna lower the base a little bit not as much as the uh the timber wolf enclosure but we're gonna lower it down and we'll take advantage of that. I'm thinking maybe, you know, we've seen it in the past. They have like water, uh, they have water elements that kind of uh, act as a barrier, stuff like that, which would be really kind of cool if we could emulate that. The other thing is uh, we've used a lot of, uh, you know, uh, Planet Zoo provided barriers. I'm wondering if maybe we can incorporate our own barrier. And my theory, my, my hope is that we can kind of build like a, uh, a bison uh, building right here that kind of overlooks into the enclosure, which I think would be fantastic. You know, you wander over here, you can take a look at some vet surgeries, things like that that are going on, leave here, and then go and check out the bison enclosure. I think that that would be uh, a really fun and cool experience and something that I really want to try to work on. So without further ado, let's start. <music>
All right, is this the best uh, the best exhibit for a uh, American bison? I don't even know. I don't even know if there should be water with American bison. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, you know, you know who would know the, the, uh, natural habitat. Uh, they don't really request a whole lot of water. Uh, they can live in, uh, quite a bit of a different temperature, uh, median. It, they're more grassland, I would say, but, uh, we could, uh, we're going to try it with this. I, I find that having like, um, a water feature, it would be really cool. They don't need a whole lot of, uh, they don't need a whole lot of space. Only 420 meters squared. And we're sitting at a whopping, uh, 3000. So I think, I think we're good. We're going to uh, let's see if we can maybe adopt some American bison and uh, and hope that maybe we didn't screw this up. <laughs> Who knows? I, I definitely struggled there. I, I've, I feel like I've walked away though with learning something. Uh, I've never I, I've always wanted to kind of make um, make make my own little uh, stand and, and you can kind of see that that we did it. We we made a little stand. We have a little talking point even so they can kind of help educate. Uh so they'll come over here, they can kind of look down. You know, I would assume and I'm pretty I'm pretty positive in this. Bison typically they don't they don't live in they live out in the in, in the open. Um from a from a stress perspective maybe not the best idea but we're gonna try to block them off with some natural vegetation and stuff like that we'll see what happens but uh i'm i'm i am actually quite happy about this now the million dollar question is uh is this the right type uh nobody knows <laughs> uh we are gonna start off with uh with some uh some cash uh cash flow uh bison so we're gonna we're gonna pay for pay some cash for this. Uh, coincidentally, we actually, uh, we have no mail. So we're going to go ahead and unpause and uh, we'll go ahead and pick up a few. Uh, they are uh, quite, uh, they're, they're getting quite old. So we uh, don't have a whole lot to choose from, but uh, we're going to let that reset in just a few seconds. Now, the, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I think it was really good. I kind of gave up in, you know, maybe we'll go back and reevaluate and, you know, maybe I'll do this off screen. We've done the custom barrier all the way across. I would like to extend this all the way around. Uh, cool. Well, you know, I, I guess it's going to happen. <laughs> I would have liked to have extended this all the way around. It's just, I'm finding that it's a lot of work to, uh, I've never made my own cut, you know, using custom barrier rails like that. And, uh, and, you know, I think I've, uh, I've learned quite a bit, but, um, it's 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 going to be a new experience. So maybe off camera, I'll, I'll extend this all the way around. I've uh, substituted it right now for some brick, uh, some some brick barriers, and we'll see we'll see how that works. Uh, we've given it enough time. They should have. Uh, we should have some male bison. No, nothing yet. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bachelor a bachelorette group. That's what it's gonna be. Uh, we will go ahead and pick up a third bison. Uh, they need to have a minimum of three within their. Uh, within their um their uh, herd uh, so we'll go ahead with that and we'll hope for the best uh the other thing that we'll also have to do and we actually don't have it there right now we're gonna need to uh oh hang on uh where where are you you're in the trade center let's send you to uh, quarantine. You're all the way over there. I forgot about that. And we have Nanjuka. Nanarjuk. Nan we are going to send you to the zoo as well. I'm pretty sure uh, they are protesting because they're stressed out. But they're doing a lot better. Uh, they're, they are they are on the mend. They, we've uh, essentially maxed out their entire uh, their entire um, group. I think they can only have a maximum of nine. Uh, and we don't have a whole lot, so uh, or we have more than that, so we'll need to keep an eye on that. But uh, I think we're we're doing pretty good. Uh, I would like to get a male bison. I'm I'm shocked that we don't have any male bison. Hmm. We definitely don't have the uh, the conservation credits necessary to afford them. That's a that's a downside. Uh, it is what it is, though. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take our uh, our bison. We're gonna send them over to the. Uh, the quarantine zone as we already know if we're buying for cash we're going to need to make sure that we utilize the quarantine zone now the other thing that we have to kind of uh take into consideration because we're using natural water we need to make sure that uh we have a um we have a uh 
water filtration system set up over here. Uh, and that'll just make sure that the uh, the water stays nice and clean. We don't need no algae growing in that uh, that uh, that area. That would not be ideal. Uh, now that I look at it though, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm actually kind of happy about this. I actually like this little bridge that I made. Um, kind of happy about that. You know, let's see. We'll see if that actually works. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we One can hope though. Uh, let's see here. Where are, why are we doing this? Hang on. There we go. Uh, where are bison? Uh, they are in transit to the quarantine zone. So we're just gonna wait a little bit for that to happen. And now in the meantime, we need to consider uh, setting up some education. Now we've set up our first education zone and in order for us to take advantage of that, if I'm not mistaken, we need an educator. So we'll go ahead and we will hire two educators. I'm pretty sure in an update some time ago, uh, the educators will naturally roam around and educate as well. So they don't just stand over there either. Uh, so that's something that we have to take into consideration. Now the other thing, and actually now I just, I just saw that I forgot about this. Uh, we do not have a habitat education board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the education board right here. We're also gonna set up a second one. And we're going to set up a second one just over here. And the idea behind it is that your guests would naturally flow this way and we want them to be able to see the two education boards. Um, that might have been a bad idea though because I don't think we actually have any power all the way over here. So let's, uh, we'll, uh, we'll mulligan, we'll call a mulligan on that one. <laughs> Hope for the best. And uh, that should have been more than enough time. I'm hoping that our, uh, our bison have passed quarantine. They have passed quarantine, fantastic. Let's send them over to their new habitat and let's hope that this is going to fit the bill for them. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a quick peek, see if maybe we can find any uh, male, uh, no, no male bison yet. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely not a lot of male bison. Apparently they are, uh, they are in hot demand. Yeah, nothing. That's okay. Let's uh, let's take a look and see how uh, we fared with this. I am curious if they're actually going to be able to cross the uh, cross that little uh, that little uh, bridge that I made for them. Let's find out. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, habitat. They can cross. Fantastic. Now uh, they are quite happy with the space. Uh, they are quite happy. We are just under the uh, the minimum requirement for foliage. And uh, it looks like our bison are quite happy. They've gone for a little swim. I think this has turned out to be a fairly good habitat. I'm actually quite happy with that. Now, the million dollar question is, will people naturally flow over here to view them from this nifty little uh, viewing stand that we've created? I'm, I, you know what? I'm actually quite happy with this. And, you know, in hindsight, things that maybe we would have changed. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, Camera's a little little janky there. Uh, the support, uh, this would not provide nearly enough support. We would actually have to have cross beams uh, dug into the uh, foundation as well. So, you know, I think maybe we'll uh, we'll explore creating little uh, cross beams and uh, making sure that we support that because that's a, it's gonna be a little bit of a concern. But they are, they're super happy. I'm, I'm over the moon. And there's more than enough land for the bison to continue to reproduce. And that is our ultimate goal. We wanna create a zoo that's gonna to help to, uh, to combat and uh, help with conservation. So uh, I think this has worked out really well. I am quite happy with that. The, the only thing they're a little upset about, and I would understand, the enrichment items. Uh, we need to get a little bit of enrichment items. We can get an inner species bonus, and that's where we're gonna think about moving our um, black-tailed prairie dogs. We might move them all over here, and I think that might be a good idea. Now we're gonna roll the die and see if maybe we have a male uh, for available. Um, no, <laughs> we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. That's for sure. Uh, but. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna end the episode there. We've done quite a bit. I am actually very happy with this habitat. It turned out quite well. And you know, I think I've said that a few times, a few too many times, if you will, but uh, I am I am very, very happy with that. Now, uh, we also need to assign a species. How do we assign a species to this? There we go. And they can throw food from here. Cool, manage talks. What does that look like? They're open, timetable, March, okay. 
but there we go. We have our uh, species talking point. We might have to set up a few more. And we have our bison. And they're roaming around. They're just checking out their new uh, their new little uh, their habitat. Uh, all right. As always, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you thought of the exhibit. Let me know if you've learned anything from this or if I can learn uh, some tips from you. Uh, and, of course... As always, feel free to subscribe if you like the content. If you want to join this journey as we improve and learn, uh, that would be really cool. And uh, otherwise, ciao for now, everybody.